I'll start with uh, how, how I got into, got into the service part. Uh, and I got the notice from Price County Courthouse that, uh, that my name has come up to report for the service. Uh, um, so then I, I, I had the, the draft card, I showed it to the foreman, I told him that I, I just got my notice that I got to go into service. And he, he said, he, he told me, why didn't, why didn't you let him, him know? He says, because this is a war industry. It's a very important war industry. And the foreman said, I can, I, he said, I can get you a deferment if you want one. And I had to do some quick thinking just what to do. Uh, uh, but some of my buddies from Brantwood, they were, one at a time, they were being uh, also yeah. drafted also. And I knew, and I knew who was being drafted and friends of mine. And I thought, what the heck, I'll, 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 I'll go join, join them, whatever, whatever comes. I'll have, to, I'll have to go with her. When I got into the, uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, I had no idea what the, the airborne, uh, and the, especially the glider troops were about. Um, but it didn't take long to find out exactly what, what they were like. But, so, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> they, they brought us to an air, airport, airport and uh, and they showed how to load up into an air uh, in, in in a glider uh, that there are two types of gliders uh, the British glider was uh, made of a plywood it's much much bigger than our own glider we got our train we got our train training they we went to the airport and uh, and they loaded uh, in, in the, the, the the American glider was made out of this stuff, uh, and we 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 could get. Uh, I'm trying to think how many guys we got into that glider. Uh, it, about it, the maximum in the, in this type of glider would be about 11, 12 guys. The British glider, which was made of plywood, you could get as many as 20. Uh, uh, wow, 20. Uh, People in there, and, and you could haul heavier, heavier, uh, heavier equipment like even a jeep in, in a British glider. We could uh, we could haul some of our artillery pieces in 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 our our glider, but uh, and when we went uh, when we went overseas, we had on the floor of our glider we had all the all the. Uh, extra uh, stuff that we could blow up bridges and that stuff. That was all, all and ammo and what that was right on the floor of our glider. The glider was pulled with a C-47. Uh, uh, it's this uh, uh, kind of a rough uh, American right it's air a twin engine. engine. Yes, we had a lot of lot of training uh, uh, before we before we uh, even. Uh, loaded the glider. D-Day D -Day was supposed to be um, June 5th, June 5th, but uh, the, and we, we were all ready to go on June 5th. Uh, whatever we, we had to go, we were ready to go June 5th, but the, the English ch channel was too rough. It was too rough. To, the, the, boy, the boys who were coming in those uh, uh, smaller boats from uh, England to France, there was too much water, and and they couldn't embark where, where they wanted to. But uh, I do remember once, you know, now now we were ready ready to go into France, and with this material that uh, the the gliders were made, uh -huh. the Ger Germans Germans were actually shooting. Right through these gliders. Oh, sure. It, 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 it sounded like a like a whip. It just sounded like a whip right through it. And we could see in, in inside of a glider, we would sit and we could see these holes appearing into this stuff because they were they, they were sure. shooting with small iron fire. 
and when we landed in France, uh, we were we knew exactly where we were supposed to land. Uh, I mean, we knew exactly where we were supposed to land, uh -huh. and where we landed, we were about eight or nine miles away from the area where we're supposed to land, and uh, and it was nighttime. With the gliders, we landed in in, uh, in France, but it was nighttime, uh, and we were we were quite a few miles away from. We couldn't we couldn't we didn't know exactly where we landed. Uh, we tried to pick up the signs that the, the French had on the on their roads and so forth, but uh, we weren't the only one. There were a lot of other gliders who were just as, just as well confused as we were. And the thing is that, that, that with all that commotion was going, the germ, with, and all, all of our gliders and paratroopers were landing, the Germans were so confused, they didn't know what, what that Dickens was happening. Before we got organized, and it, where we landed, it was Hedgerow country. Uh, so, uh, the gliders, they could not land, you know, they'd, ha they'd have to shoot the part of the main part of the glider between between the two trees. The wings would tear off right. and, and and we, of course, would be sitting in the center part where we, if, if we didn't have to hit a tree, we'd be okay, but but, but we were, were sitting, sitting and we had dynamite and all kinds of uh, explosive stuff right on the floor of the gliders so that we could, well, our mission was to try and blow up bridges and whatnot once we, once we got out there. I had three rifle scouts and, and one, one mortar squad. That was, that was my, uh -huh. my, my... That was your bag. My, my bag, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, and actually, I, I probably mentioned to you that, that the, the guy, the guy who was steering the glider, he he couldn't he couldn't level it off like it's supposed to, because we had too much we had too much weight. So he went nose down not nose down into the ground, which was damp, wet ground. Wet ground. There was a couple of feet of water water where we landed. The nose front of the, the glider broke off, and the the, the Area where the pilot was sitting, he he went underneath the glider with the with the nose part, but he didn't get hurt. But oh. uh, yeah, but uh, he came through it, and uh, of course uh, we had to protect him uh, because he he didn't have he didn't have any protection. He was just a pilot out of the glider, right. so he was part of us. So so uh, he was once once we landed. He was he was right in with us. It was it was dark, uh, and they had we didn't know we didn't know in the, when we could see somebody crawling in the hedgerow. We didn't know who it was. was that some of our own guys or was it uh, the, the enemy the, the, the German? Uh, so it took us until slowly daybreak would come, and then we could identify and our own our own. We have lots of our own American. Troops, uh, paratroopers, and glider people roaming all ar all around in that whole whole area, and the Germans were as confused as uh, as we were. And the gliders are, were made for only one mission. It was it was a wrecked. Uh, you didn't expect to see that glider on any other mission, no. the, because because uh, when they landed, like I mentioned, going in between. Uh, mm -hmm. Tree and Germans had actually had, they were kind of suspicious of gliders coming. They had all the bigger fields. They had set up poles, dug poles in the ground, like fence posts. But what we our hopes were, we could so we could make contact with the the guys that were coming from from the English Channel, and and that's where we had better equipped. We had tanks. The, if we could come from English Channel, you know. We, then we'd have tanks to go with with us. Saint Lo was a was a vi, uh, uh, very very important uh, town for Americans to capture because there was Ger Germans Germans had uh, mm -hmm. uh, Germans had a concentration of their own own 
uh, warriors there, and and that was the area that from there they 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 had everything uh, lined up to prevent the people from coming up the English Channel from England. So if we if we could get if we could get St. Lowe's, if Americans could get St. Lowe's, we then the the boys that were coming from the England would have a little bit easier going, you know. We landed into the Hedgerow country in in France. Uh, it was dark. Uh, the Germans were as confused as we were. They were running, running every direction, and and, and but they but they were they they were trying to get organized, and so were we. So we could get some kind of a. a a battle group, so we could take care of the care of them. Once we got uh, contact with the uh, with the guys that came from the English Channel, uh, then then we had at already we had some tanks, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention the fact that that uh, that uh, our first assignment actually the assignment was to 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 get go through one go through that one road one road and but tanks could not go on that road because that Germans had it was loaded with mines and and in, in order for us to get our tanks through the, we had to go out and and uh, clean the, the mines out but the Germans had the minefield covered with machine guns so our, our job was to to Quick, quickly run through that minefield and see see if we could uh, find out where the, where the Germans with their machine guns, so we could keep them quiet, so we could dig the mines out. And what what our own artillery was doing, they were they were for us to go run through that minefield. They were putting uh, white phosphorus shells. They were shooting those white phosphorus shells. So actually, when we when we got into minefield, it was nothing but we were completely in smoke. So the Germans, what the only shooting that they did, they were just spraying. They were just spraying spraying the whole minefield and hoping that they would hit hit one one of us. Or, or and uh, um, that that's when. <clears throat> That's when I, when I was running through the minefield, uh, uh, I I got hit hit, but I'm not I'm not sure if I, it was machine gun or if it was uh, artillery shell, but uh, I got hit on my left left hip, but anyway my legs my leg on the left left hand side uh, didn't I didn't have no control of that leg, so all I, all I could do is crawl into some kind of a hole, so I couldn't get banged up any more than what I did. But I, I did put my hand inside my pants and my hand was, uh, was all, all bloody, so I knew I got, got hit. I, uh, I, was, I was laying on the ground, I, I was wounded, and, and, and when I looked, up, looked around, uh, some of my buddies were also uh, uh, wounded, or some of them were even dead, uh, laying around there. But, uh, then I, ju I just laid there, laid there. Uh, but when I laid there, I uh, I noticed there was a big uh, tank tank mine right right there in front of me, in, in and and I noticed like a smoke smoke coming from underneath that that um, tank mine. And I I said now I thought, thought to myself, boy, I tell you what. They, they've got they, they've got a fuse on this damn damn mine, mine and it's 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 going to go off any any time. But then I, I dug up a little bit more of the dirt around there, and I noticed that it, there was more more smoke coming from other other stuff in the ground. Uh, then then I realized that it was the white phosphorus shells that our our our, our mortars and artillery were shooting. To hide the whole the whole uh, minefield was covered with smoke, so the Germans couldn't pick up pick us running through there. And as I was digging in that where the smoke was coming, I realized that 
it's uh, it's nothing but uh, nothing but uh, uh, some of our white phosphorus bits of white phosphorus that were smoking underneath that mine, and and I, I got up to that mine and 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 now now we had some big tanks our own tanks were caught caught up to us and. I, uh, I I waved at the tank man that that he came so far and then he saw that I I was alive yet so so he he wouldn't run over me he just came so far and I was actually laying I was laying underneath that big old gun and 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 he then and then he could see where the machine gun fire was coming it was coming from from that little village village. Uh, so he started firing his big cannon into into that area where the the Germans were firing, and every time that he he shot that the big gun, excuse me, I was laying on the ground. I, I would flip off the ground, you know. I would, it, ah. it, it it was such a blast that I I I I'd flip off, and then I thought to myself, now the son of a guns are going to start shooting back and forth, and he, and but I motioned to the tank tank man. That what what was right right in front of me that that's a big mine. Then, as a matter of fact, then I, he 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 had, he realized what what I was trying to tell him. Uh, so so he he would not go any further. He didn't he didn't want to go any further because there were mine all the old mine all over the place. Um, um, and I I laid there laid there. I could, I didn't move the tank. Tank men, they backed up and they took a different different route, different route because there were mines all over the place. Um, and uh, I laid there until uh, uh, the the our, our American uh, uh, hospital vans came. The, what do you call them? They came yeah, in and they, yeah, right. they threw threw me in, in the van and and, and hauled. Hauled me back, back, you know, out of the area of immediate fire. So the German Germans were, or they say that they were German, but they they were actually they were Polak, Pol Polish soldiers, and they were they were coming with their their hand hands up, saying that me not not to shoot me me Polsky me Polsky and my one of my buddies. Uh, he, he said, he said, I, I'm going to shoot them. He said, he actually, he said, he said I'm going to shoot them, son of a bitch. And I said, damn it. I, you know, I gave him order not to shoot them. And you can't shoot them. They're, they're coming with their hands up. You can't shoot them. They'll never give, they'll never give, give in if, if they see that we're going to sh shoot them as they were coming with their hands up. And so quite a few of them, they actually came through the lines and, and we, we of course captured them as as mm -hmm. soldiers, uh, German soldiers. But they said they were po Polish soldiers. But I think I stayed there at least uh, two months in in in, in mm -hmm. the English hospital, and and then uh, uh, other soldiers there too got healed. Got healed pretty pretty well. Got healed up, so we got back into training. And uh, and we were we were actually getting uh, chances to go on some kind of leave. Some of the guys got a leave to take a few days off. Uh, so and he, all of a sudden they got um, word that the Germans had made a breakthrough in uh, in Belgium. So everybody about four o'clock in the afternoon, word came that. Uh, Get your get your equipment that you have your uh, battle dress and all, all your uh, clothing helmets and and they were they were we got to go back to the front line. The Germans were making that breakthrough in in Belgium, so they they said in that 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 evening, next e next morning or evening, they loaded us in uh, in the trucks, the guys that were half. Healed up and 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 hauled us up to 
Be Belgium, you know. Uh, and that, that was, it was a cold, cold country. Belgium was just like the winters that we have here, here in Wisconsin. And we were, we, were, we, I had leather shoes on. Uh, we didn't have time to get decent equipment, but I know I, I froze my laying out, out there, uh, out there in the snowbanks, wherever. And what we used to did was two guys would we dig up our hole where we, where, where we, we could uh, stay in a kind of out of small arms fire. And two guys would get together, and, and each one had some kind of a, some kind of a our, our half of a shelter half, what they called them. Right. They, yeah, that we, we could put each one use half of it, and 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 in the hole in dug into a hole, uh, but uh, and it was so the it was so cold in the floor, and in the mornings when you got up, you'd have to pry yourself with dirt. From that frozen dirt, you know, that clothes you freeze frozen. right to it. Huh? Freeze, right, freeze right, right, freeze right out to the dirt. dirt. Uh, and uh, well, that's that's when I, I, I froze my feet. I healed there, and uh, and then then I came from there. I came home.